guys, welcome back to Ganty Plans. Um, today I thought I would do a day in the life vlog because I haven't in a while and life is different than it was in the last time. So um, I'm starting actually in the evening. It's about 9 something p.m. Um, and it is time for me to go to bed. Uh, you'll get to see what bedtime looks like a little bit maybe tomorrow, but um, my husband takes the first shift with the baby, so he's out in the living room in the portable bassinet out there, or she's in the portable bassinet, and he's in the front area. We're hoping that she'll get a little bit of a stretch of sleep in that bassinet. She really has not been sleeping great on her own, and we mostly do co-sleeping overnight, but we're you know, trying to give her more opportunities to nap on a flat surface <laughs> during the day and at night to get used to it. But since he has the first shift, I get couple minutes to myself and even though I value my sleep very much I generally will spend about half an hour or so just sort of unwinding and doing a bit of bedtime stuff for myself so you know I'm here in the bedroom by myself I've got my planner here and just kind of unwinding a little bit with some nice ice water and I put in my portable headphone Bluetooth headphone these things have been the best for um Postpartum, if you're looking for unconventional baby gear, get yourself a pair of Bluetooth headphones. These ones I literally bought off Wish for like a few bucks, and they work fine. Um, but just being able to like listen to a podcast without having to worry about wires hanging over your baby while you're nursing and stuff. Um, and you can you know set the phone on one part of the room, not let it distract you, but you can still like listen to your podcast and change your baby's diaper. The best, anyway. Um, I'm just going to unwind here and get a little bit of sleep and report on how the night went when I see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. We got some sleep last night. She was a little bit fussy during uh, Gina's shift, but was better during mine. We've been co-sleeping and that's been working out. Um, this is my desk when it's not tidy and I'm not filming something, so sorry about that. Um, we're here in the office because I have a... Um, the, the hospital where we give birth uh, does a breastfeeding support group thing uh, twice a week and it's just sort of a, you know, moms of babies get to hang out and discuss life. And um, normally it's in person, but they just restarted it as a virtual thing because of COVID. So I'm going to tune into that. I've been going to that twice a week when I can and really enjoying getting to know some local moms even if we can't get together. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! 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 You did it! My mom did it! <gasps> just did it! Oh. I just put her down in uh, in Agnes's room. Okay. It only took a couple minutes, like after I swapped with her, and we sort of snuggled her for a minute. And... Yeah. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Well, I guess it was like two minutes. some errands to run this afternoon including the dentist so I am pumping right now while I eat my own lunch and the dentist would kill me but I just it's been a bit of a nap time so I feel like I just need a little pick-me-up um, and then I will be on my way after I can take her nap baby's down well toddler's down she uh, she was great. Like, I I love playing with her. She's adorable and I love playing make-believe with her and stuff. I was charging my phone so I didn't get any of the footage because I want to make sure it's charged before my errands. Um, but then we go, all right, it's time to go potty before your nap. 
And then she smacks me in the face and knocks my glasses off. So I get angry about that. And I tell her I don't want to read you a story for your nap time if you're not going to say you're sorry for hitting me. Um, and we lay down for uh, her nap. And she says, read me a story. I say, no, because I don't want to spend time with you because you hit me and you didn't say sorry. And her response, not, I'm sorry. Her response was, good night, cold. Anyway, I'm going to brush my teeth and head out. So I um, had a bit of crown, I mean a bit of a bit of filling fall off while I was pregnant. They put in a temporary filling while I was pregnant and um, then I came back for like my cleaning and sort of evaluation after the baby came. Then at, that was at three weeks, then at four weeks or so they um, did like the first part of the crown that needed to be done. And today I'm going in to get my actual permanent crown. So that is the first, <laughs> the first errand of the day. I'm really looking forward to having this permanent crown in because the, uh, the temporary one is like really uncomfortable and it's not fit it, fitted like perfectly, you know. And so it's been super sensitive to cold. Um, and I am a real big fan of ice water. Um, and even though it's fall now, that means 80 degrees instead of 90 and 100. So uh, I still like my ice water. So let's go get that taken care of. Okay. Fresh new tooth. It's way in the back. You can't see it. I'm still kind of numb. Uh, it's 2.30 so they said I can eat at 3.30. My uh, husband had some errands but he gave them generously to me to do. He gave me the option but I was um, all about having a little extra time just to be out of the house and it's like I love my daughters but when both of them are crying at the same time I want to rip my eyes out so um, hopefully Agnes should still be asleep right now so hopefully Bridget isn't giving Gina too hard of a time um, and I'm going to FedEx and then to Home Depot. So I feel like I've become quite a connoisseur of, I guess that window's dirty, of curbside pickup options and I have to say um Home Depot might be one of the most convenient as far as preparation because um, my husband didn't have to authorize me to pick this up or anything. He just forwarded me the text he got confirming the order and I just had to say where I was parked. Though the last time I got a Home Depot curbside order, um, it took forever for them to finally come out. Actually, I've done it twice and both times it seems to take a while. Um, Target seems to be the most seamless experience because I guess their app is really well optimized for it. But I think you have to have, like the time I had my husband pick up an order that I had placed, I just had him bring my phone with him. Um, but you can go whenever. And then Walmart, you have to select a window for a grocery pickup. But uh, it's just like part of life now. I've been doing grocery pickup from Walmart since before the pandemic, like for a year now. And I love it. And so, uh, yeah, that's that's just the way we live our lives now. And it's kind of a shame because I feel like the, um, the, the shame is that there's a Walmart grocery, like a Walmart neighborhood market. It's like half a mile from our house, but they don't have curbside pickup. And so we never go there. And I'm afraid it's going to close because I like their prices and I like their convenience when there's not a pandemic on. But... Uh, so we, we get Walmart groceries, just not from our local grocery store. Anyway, I'm here to pick up, uh, I think our faucet. The faucet in the kitchen hasn't been working well. And so I think he got a new one. And then maybe also some curtains because we've been having a nightmare issue, not curtains, but um, blinds, like cell blinds. They're like the ones that, ha they're sort of um, keep the heat in and out, you know, pregnancy, but no. Baby brain now. I can't even remember what baby brain is called because I have it so bad. Um, that we've been ordered like three different times now. And so hopefully this third time is the charm and we'll actually get what we wanted. We ordered from like three different places. Anyway, uh, that is what we're doing here. You see that foggy, hazy? Yeah, those are wildfires um, that have been going on for this week. Fortunately, the wind has, the wind has died down. And so they're not blowing up over like everywhere, so there's blue sky, but um, all along the horizon there you can see they're pretty close. Unfortunately this time, um, a lot of houses have not been affected, it's really just been the brush. 
Um, so I guess people have been doing a good job of building up defensible space. We're just lucky that we don't have the money to live in the canyons or the hills. Um, we're in a neighborhood and the only fire risk for us would be like a house fire next door. So. so now that I just finished saying that we go and get all of our groceries from Walmart, um, support your local small businesses. This is the pet food store and basically it's just because like they only sell Purina at Walmart. And this place actually has food that's like good for your pets, I guess. So uh, we're just here because we're almost out of dog food. One last stop. Um, we've been really getting into Sonic lately. <laughs> um, there is like a promo and I don't know how much longer it's going on or whatever, but it's been for a while that you get half price slushies through if you order through the app. So uh, it's a pretty reasonably affordable deal and Agnes is a big fan of lemonade and we just like, you know, sometimes grabbing a little bit of a snack um, when we're out and about. And so the Walmart is actually just right here, one of the two that we get groceries from. And um, the dog food store is just over there. So I'm just picking up a couple of drinks and treats for everybody. Um, the elder is awake. So after this, I'm gonna head home. I got a sweet tea. And I'm hoping that the cold helps. My um, lidocaine is wearing off and it's aching. So that's fun, but it's still like numb on that half of my mouth. So the, the bone hurts, <laughs> but I can't actually feel the cold. So this is good, let's head home. <laughs> I really needed to harvest some basil today. This thing is, okay, so this, this is one plant and then this one back here going over into my parsley area is a transplant and then this one also down here is going to it looks like it's taking this one was a propagated cutting as well this stuff is like just growing really well and I've had it bolting at different times and I then just like cut off large sections of the bush that are bolting um, trans you know propagate what I can and just keep going it's been getting... <laughs> don't talk to yourself okay I'm talking to my friends Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, I just came out here because it really needed to be harvested, and this is what I got today. I'm not going to be using all this for dinner tonight, but hopefully for tomorrow and the day after. Um, I just planted a bunch of stuff for the fall, so in another couple weeks once it has uh, sprouted and there's more to show you, I will be doing another garden tour. But look forward to that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, good job. toddler life. Um, you saw she was outside playing in the backyard while I was harvesting basil and so she was going to need to get clean anyway but then she had a potty accident so um, we are here in the bathroom and this little two-year-old is basically giving herself a bath because um, I don't want to get nakers in hop in the shower with her so she's got this little tub that I'm not going to show you because my naked toddler is inside um, but she's got like this wash tub that sits in the shower that she can take a bath in the shower and she's got a couple toys and we're gonna try to wrap this up real quick and just get her clean and because then I have to make dinner I'm gonna try a curry recipe tonight that I haven't tried before and I was just getting started on slicing up carrots when this happened so fortunately there are two parents at home and yeah, the other one can take care of the baby while I'm in here. Scream one more time, you're going to time out. Alright, good. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the little clown who jumped out of the train. Please, shiny new engine, won't you pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless... We have But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. My train has sleeping cars and a dining car with waiters. I pull the likes of you. And do not. <laughs> Very good. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. Even though we don't generally have a lot of things going on in our lives day to day, we have sort of established a bit of a routine and most of our days are looking pretty similar. It's been really great having my husband at home and we've sort of settled into a bit of a new normal, though I'm definitely looking forward to uh, Bridget's two month shots and then we're going to be able to expand out a little bit more and do some more things, maybe go to the playground or um, get to interact with some friends or, I don't know, go inside a store. It's been a bit difficult, a little bit samey, but overall I think generally has been a positive thing. Lately uh, I've been trying to focus a little bit of time for my own stuff, uh, specifically channel related stuff, a couple little projects that I will be announcing in the coming months. And so that's what I'm doing here at my desk, even though it means that I'm getting to bed later than usual. I just wanted to really, you know, push ahead and get one little bit of this project finished, and I was very happy with the results. Thanks for following me around today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I post some videos like this and some, a lot of mostly planner stuff, so I will see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Bye!